Hi guys. Hi, I'm Rue. Ah, there we go. How's it, Adrian? How are you, man? Yeah, great. You were muted. You were muted, Rue. Yeah, I'm very, very well, man. Let me just uh, plug my cam camera on. Hold on. Oh. Just set it up my screen. It's all on my camera. No, no worries, man. No worries. To see many lashes. Um, just two seconds. Nilesh is on the way, is he? Yeah, he said he's on the way. Let me, um, why am I going to There you go. Um. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm superb. Let me just get back over here. Can we? Fantastic. Ah, Bitcoin millionaire, love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys need to catch up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You people, you're too slow. Oh, we're South African. Everything is a bit slow here, yeah, mate. All right. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I'm only, I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm only playing with this right now. I don't really know what's going on or anything, you know, it's just, um, sure. I just need to learn what's going on and then perhaps, you know, full steam ahead, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, look, I mean, obviously I'm quite, I'm quite uh, excited to talk to you as well, Adrian. So, you know, um, you must just shoot the questions that you need. Um, um, I can tell you about my, my journey with the company and all that sort of stuff and, yeah, hopefully we can get you, uh, you, you to that level where all, all that uh, knowledge and ability that you've got, and you do run full steam ahead with us. So that's that's what, really what I want to achieve from this call. Nilesh, oh. unmute yourself. There we go. Ah, okay, brilliant. How are you guys doing? Good, good. How are you, mate? Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, great. Very good. All right. So yeah, Adrian, fantastic man. Why, why um, you know, why, why don't you shoot away? I mean, if you want, I mean, if you want me to tell you a little bit about my relationship with the with the company, with the owners, with the directors, happy to yeah. do that. Um, if you could, you mind if I, you mind, yeah, do you mind if I record this just for my team? So I can just, like a lot of people asking lots of questions, and they just want to see some real people, you know. Uh, I would be surprised if you didn't record it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just just. Yeah. At least so they can see, they, they can see I'm doing something rather than nothing. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Record. Record away, my mate. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. If you could, um, like I said, I'm, I'm learning this. I've only been in this a couple of. Um, well, I, as you know, I, I took a position. I, I actually more or less joined last. I think it was December, January with Nilesh and, and um, Tony. I went through a lot of things then at the start of the year, but never really took any action because I'm too involved with other programs, other other um, similar Bitcoin mining programs. So, but the timing's a bit more right now after what's going on. I, I, a few of the other mining companies are running out of packages. You know, they're not, they're not able to supply Bitcoin mining packages for whatever reason. And um, obviously this seems to, it's a good time to fit this into my portfolio because I'm in a number of different things. I like to spread my risk. I, and I want to. I'm really looking to um, add this into my portfolio, you know, and pass it out to people I know, my team. So it seems a good time now. And um, it was just a coincidence that um, Nilesh and, and Tony rang me uh, a few weeks, a week or so ago, to bring it to my attention again. So, so yeah, I'm, uh, okay. I'm here now again. And um, I haven't done that much research. I've looked at the back office, you know, um, Lifestyle Galaxy. I've looked at some of the team who were involved. So, um, what I want you to do first of all is, um, I'm assuming you're the top, you're the top um, affiliate. You, you're, you're the top guy in the business. So I just want you to, um, yeah, like you just said, introduce yourself so I can pass this video on to my team. And then, as you can see, I'm sharing my screen right now. 
And if you can go through all these guys here, Ken, Ken Brow, Randy Price, um, David Martin, um, Dr. Anthony Van Tonda, obviously Tony, the guy that, and Tony and Ilesh, um, the guys that I've spoken with already, and um, this Mariska. Okay, sure. Okay, so let me just, um, you know, Adrian, let me start then a little bit with, with my history with the business. Um, uh, look, my story is very simple, is I'm, I guess, much like you, and I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, uh, first and foremost. I had my own IT business in South Africa from 2000 to 2008. 2008, uh, the best thing that ever happened to me happened. My business went bankrupt. <laughs> Changed oh. my life. So, uh, um, so I was, uh, I was broke for a good couple of years, Adrian, and I'm going to cut a long story short, um, and, and, uh, if, if there's an interruption here in a moment, it's because I've got an autistic daughter. Um, and uh, uh, so she's home now from school. Um, but uh, 2010, we found out that we, she, she was autistic and I just realized I needed to make changes, make that passive income. You know, Adrian, probably I'm not sure if you, I'm not sure if you have any, ever had any problems with the network marketing model. Um, I certainly have had, never had a problem with it. I dabbled in it before, was just never very good at it. And really when um, I realized that I'd get off my back and start doing something again, it was the answer for me because of, you know, the, the low barrier to entry and, you know, all I knew it would take a lot of work and, and I was prepared for that, being an entrepreneur. So um, I went and searched for, I wanted digital products. I didn't want the potent lotions and potions game again. Not that I've got anything against them. I love our industry. Um, but I... I was looking for digital products and, and, and by pure coincidence, I ended up on a webinar where in 2000, I think it was about the end of 2010, where uh, David Martin, who is the founder of the business, was, was on a webinar expanding his vision for what he wanted to do with this business. And, um, you know, his vision was to um, lift up the middle class by creating online platforms that the middle class could um, leverage off uh, to participate in the biggest revenue trends on the internet, okay? And um, that was his vision. And the products back then weren't that great. Um, they were like a digital desktop product and a, and a little bit of a social media product. They weren't that great, but, but as an entrepreneur, I fought in love with vision and I fell in love with David's vision. And I'd never met him. And I remember the conversation with my wife. I just said to my wife, I said, listen, Paula, something's telling me that there's something special you know, he didn't, what I, also got, what I also got from that webinar is that he didn't need the money anymore. He'd already made his money. And he was on, you know, his vision was to, to make the world a better place, basically. And I just fell in love with it and I launched this business here in, in 2011, um, part-time. And with those uh, products that uh, went phenomenal um, and, um, and my life changed. And... Um, 2000, so, so I understand this, we're not, I'm sure you've looked to the website, we're not just a cryptocurrency mining company, we've got revenue sharing mobile games, we've got an auction site which we're busy launching, um, we've, got, we've got various things, um, but by far the biggest change that came into this company, Adrian, was in 2015, where I've got a, I'm also going to cut a long story very short here. Uh, we, I got a call from David and he said, look, you know, and at this stage, you must understand by 2015, I've built a relationship like this with David. I've flown over to Vegas. I've had dinners with him. I've met the executive team. You know, we, we built a really solid relationship. I know, I really know the people behind the company rather than them just being names on a, on a website like you see here. Um, and uh, we built a really good relationship. And so, um, so 2015, I get the call saying, listen, Andrew, you know, so I'm about to do something extremely big. Um, we're going to create a platform that will enable our community not only to, only to participate in, um, in, in one of the biggest trends on the internet, but to be quite honest, it's, it's, it's a participate in, in, the, in the revolution and evolution of how money works. Um, and that was what, we, what you see in front of you there, the, the, Bitcoin, the Bitcoin mining, the cryptocurrency mining. Um, uh, we launched, I'm sure you've chatted to Tony, so I won't go into too much detail um, on, on the technicalities of the mining. You probably know enough about that. But, but we launched in, in March 2016. And, um, um, you know, Tony, who is our mining expert, he mines with Genesis, he mines with uh, BitClub. You'll never hear him bad mouth them. Um, but the fact is, when he shows the results from what we're doing and what they're doing, you know, we... we uh, because of our compounding inbuilt strategy and our model that we were able to implement that from the word go, 
um, as far as we know, we, we're one of the most, if not the most favorable mine in the world. And uh, that's not too bad mile our competition. Um, I think Big Club's a great company. I think Genesis is a great company. You know, they're, they're not scams. They're a good company. And as you know, in the industry that we're in, uh, the amount of Bitcoin scams out there. Um, when, I, when you come across a Bitcoin and a Genesis, you go, well, they're competition, but we love them because at least they're giving our business, our industry, a good name from being a legitimate company. So, so, so we launched that in 2016. Um, you know, Adrian, we're not, we're not perfect yet. Um, the company's got huge ambitions. That we want to be a billion, a billion euro company by 2020. And we want to be one of the top three companies on the blockchain, uh, mines on the blockchain by 2020. And we believe we, we're on track to do that because of our model. We've got a repurchase compound strategy whereby we double up on what most other companies can't do. We're bringing more miners who compound and repurchase as well. No other mine out there who is ahead of us certainly has that model. And when we sat down with our mining partner, because we outsourced the mining to, to, to the largest Bitcoin mining operation in America, when I was with, there were about six or seven of us, seven of us having breakfast with that guy in, um, at the mine last year, December, and he doesn't care about network marketing. He doesn't care about the affiliate model. I mean, he's just mining Bitcoin and he yes, look this after is, this, is, this is the guy that owns the mine in, in the States, is it? The guy that owns the mine. Yeah. Correct. So, so the buildings and the warehouses, but you know, we own the equipment. What he said to us at breakfast, he said to us, guys, if you don't bring on one more miner, even if you don't bring on another miner, so, so forget about the network marketing is what he was saying. If you just continue with the current community that you have with your repurchase strategy, by 2020, you will be one of the three biggest on the blockchain. Yeah. And the fact of the matter is, obviously, you know as well as we do, we haven't stopped uh, you know, bringing on more, more miners. And obviously, you, you, you're, you're, you're sharp enough to understand that model that we're busy following there. So, so the, the offer, you know, what, what I love about what we do, Adrian, and there's always risk in mining. I don't have to go in all of that, into all of that. But what I love about what we're doing is we, we're very transparent in terms of, you know, um, you can come to the mine with us in November. Take pictures of yourself in the mine. Hold up the England flag. Hold up the Welsh dragon in the, in the, in the mine. Take videos um, to make sure that your community knows, yes, it, there may be risk, but this is not a scam. It's real. You know, here's the machinery. Look, I'm touching it. This is yours. Hey, Joe, look, I think this, this little server here might even be yours. You know? <laughs> um, and it, it's great for marketing. Um, so we're the first company that we're aware of that's really put a face to the mine and allow our community members to put their faces to the mine. Um, so it's been a, for me, it's been a, it's almost, a, almost an eight year journey with the company now. Uh, look, you know, you know as well as me that these, business, these businesses can change your life if you allow them to and you, and you put in the work. Um, so David Martin is, is the founder. Um, and uh, you know, he's, he he's really is a visionary. Uh, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah. I see my internet connection David, went a bit. Martin, Can you guys still hear me? Um, David Martin, is he a bit of, um, is he like an IT geek or is he into um, programming or what? Uh, okay, you're breaking up a bit. My internet's gone down a bit. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Nilesh. Okay, Nilesh. You're back again. No, so David is an IT geek. He made his money developing banking security software. Um, very, um, you know, extremely intelligent. He thinks on a different level to me and you. Um, and uh, 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 yeah, just know he thinks on a different level to me and you. He doesn't, he doesn't come on, he's not a social person. He doesn't come on to Facebook or he doesn't come on to live calls or webinars. He sits there in the background. Is that right? I think we've lost. Um, Inesh, you still there? Uh, yeah, I'm still here. I think yeah. Andrew's internet connection yeah, his connection, is up at the moment. His connection is gone. Yeah, yeah Andrew, I'm not sure so, if you're still here. Your connection is gone. I don't know if you want to reboot or your connection is gone. You're frozen. Let's just give it a few minutes before um, for him to reset. Yeah, it's been a little while before we. Has he got. Um, back has back. He got oh, he's back. There you go. Andrew's back. Uh, Andrew, sorry, you just need to unmute yourself, please. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm back. Yeah. Thanks. So you want a slow internet connection, Andrew? Or are you want a broadband? Yeah, I live in. I live in uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, uh, Nilesh will know. I live in, uh, in an area called South Truck, and our national telecommunications company in the last month. So we just live with it. There's nothing we can do. 
uh, you know, two months ago yeah. it was nice and fast. Um, yeah. yeah, no worries. I'm just saying about the um, the owner, uh, the owner behind this, David Martin. He's not um, he's not a social person. He doesn't come onto Facebook and he doesn't do videos and he, he keeps himself in the background. Is that right? Correct. Um, so yeah, when you meet him, you'll understand why. I mean, he comes from the dark net. He, he he thinks guys like you and me are crazy that we are all over these social networks and markets marketing. You know, we have to do it. But he thinks we're crazy. He says you guys are crazy to have your profiles out there. I mean, he comes from a banking security software. He's on the dark net. I mean, he's a I mean, he's a prop. Uh, he's a proper back back. You know. Yeah. In the back. Yeah. But he's a visionary. Um, and you know we, we we're not a perfect company, Adrian. You know, you know we we have our ups and downs. The relation knows we have our ups and downs. I'm not going to sugarcoat everything, um, but yeah, we, we're going to deal with good people. Um, and and certainly the company is well on its way to achieving its goals. So Ken Buff, uh, I've I've known Ken for I don't know five years now. Um, he um, you know you can read what his background is there, but uh, really he brings the corporate structure which David lacks. And to be honest, in the first few years, um, David trying to do it all on his own, um, we could never get the company from where it was to the next level because David didn't have that ability, that structured ability to, to, to put those structures in place to take a company to be, um, never mind a, a, a million, a billion dollar company, but a million dollar company, you know. So Ken, Ken's come in, you know, he's been out to South Africa. I think Nilesh has even met Ken. Uh, really, really sharp guy, uh, very strategic in his thinking. Um, also very much, we, we, I, I used to have a lot of contact with Ken literally daily. Now if I speak to him once every two months, that's a lot because he's working at the bird's eye view of the company and doesn't get involved with talking to guys like, uh, in the field anymore. The guy that I speak to most these days is Randy. Randy's our CFO and I suppose he also, uh, pull, he also um, fulfills the role of general manager, I suppose. He's, he's, he's got an incredible legal background as well. Um, he's taken, he's helped two companies list on the, on the NASDAQ. Um, so a really, really sharp CFO. Um, and he's brought a lot of, he's brought a lot of uh, value to the company in the last year. And, um, very good putting to, you know, we've got lots of nice new property contracts we're putting together in terms of new mining facilities, which will own outright. So, so what I love about Randy is, is, um, is, is the structure, that, the structure that he's brought to the company. Um, and uh, and then yeah, if you look going yeah. down further down, and where, you know, where, the, where is um where is David Martin, Ken Bro, and Randy Prince? Where are they based? Are they all in South Africa or are they in different countries? No, none of them are. None of them are in South Africa. Um, so David is British, comes from England, right. um, and but he lives in he, he lives in in Vegas. He's been living there for the last ten years. Um, Karen, I think he's actually in Germany. He needs to get into the same time zone as all the programmers. So we've got about 50, 60 full-time programmers working for the company, fully employed. And we're not talking about, with respect, cheapies out of India and Bangladesh and all those places where you get cheap, uh, cheap IT. I mean, these are top guys at the top of their game, mostly in Europe. Uh, so David bases himself in Vegas and also in Germany. I think he's just flown into Germany today, actually. Um, uh, he doesn't believe in physical offices. We had physical offices at one place, one time, but David just said, what's the point? Um, he likes, he's a, as I said, he's a, he's a, thinks on a different level. So, as I said, 50 to 60 full-time uh, full programmers. If you went into David's house and you sat in his office, you would have like several uh, computer screens all around him like this, and he's having virtual meetings with everyone at the same time, you know? And that's the way he finds, future, that's the way he sees future business. So um, he's Germany and, and, and Vegas. So he lived, does he live uh, in Vegas or does he live in Germany or is he back and forth? I'd say 80% of the time Vegas and 20% of the time Germany. But I think that's changing a lot more um, and because he's finding he's able to be a lot more productive with the programming team um, being in the same time zone as them in, in Europe. So I think that's, that's really starting to change a lot more if I look at his movements over the last six months. In the last six months, he's probably spent 80% of the time in Germany and 20% Vegas. But in the last eight years that I've been involved in the business, 80% Vegas, 20% Germany. I think it's starting to change, though. Okay. Oh, sorry, Ken. Ken is English. He's born in England, but he's living. No, no, no. David. Da David is David is English, born in England. So David Martin is English. Yes. And he's and he's okay. And um, what about Ken? And um, so Ken, Ken, Ken and Randy are proper Americans. Ken lives in Boise, Idaho. Okay. And funny enough, when when we when we start when we actually.
created our first physical office because people, you know, you know what it's like when you're trying to create, you can't show people that you're legitimate. People want to go, people always ask, oh, where your physical offices? So basically David's response was, oh, for heavens, King, go and open up an office in Boise, Idaho and put some pictures up. <laughs> so, so, um, cause we no need for it, but it just, just said there are the pictures of our office. I think we've closed them since then. Um, so Ken lives in Boise, Idaho. Um, um, but yeah, lived there all his life, basically, hasn't left Boise, Idaho. Um, but also has worked at, worked, worked in Fortune 500 companies at executive level. Um, before he joined us, he was vice president for one of Tony Robbins' businesses. Uh, okay. Right. And as I said, he's from South Africa. Randy uh, lives in Vegas as well. So Randy also lives in Vegas. And, I, um, and he actually only started working uh, officially as our CFO last year. Although he has worked with David for almost 15 years with David's other companies as well. So he's consulted into a lot of David's companies. David trusts him implicitly. And only last year when we saw the comp when David obviously and Ken saw the company scaling to, to where it's going to now, did he, did he bring in Randy as our full-time CFO? But they've got a 15, I think even almost a 20-year working relationship now. Okay. Um, so... Um Oh, when, what, okay, that's great. And where does um, Dr. Anthony Van Tonda come into things? What does he do? So Doc Ant is actually, um, um, <laughs> you're going to laugh. These three, Ant, Tony, and Mariska, um, they're all in my down, well, they're all in my downline as well. So these, okay. these, are, these are affiliate, these three guys are obviously affiliates then? They're affiliates that have been given corporate positions because of the expertise that they bring to the company outside of being an affiliate. Yeah. So, if you ask me, not ideal, um, but that, you know, the, none of, so neither, neither David, nor Randy, nor Ken come with a network marketing background. They are just solid businessmen. They don't understand network marketing. Well, they, they do, but, but, but you wouldn't find a traditional network marketing company hiring someone from the field and allowing them yeah. to be part of corporate as well. So, so how, could, how, did this, how did it start to bring, bring, to bring the MLM into all this? And whose idea was to, to bring the MLM, MLM into all no, this? No, they've always been a network marketing company because David's vision was to help average guys like me participate in the biggest revenue streams of the internet. And the only way he could do that was by creating the platforms and then um, allowing us to participate through an affiliate and a network marketing model. But it doesn't mean to say he came from a network marketing background. So he doesn't understand how the field works. He doesn't understand how a guy like you works. He values it, but he doesn't understand it. It's not where it comes from. A lot of network marketing companies, often the CEO was in the field once upon a time and now starts the network marketing company. So we, we're not like that, which is a strength and a weakness. It's a strength in that um, these guys set up, you know, they, we, we're not big on hype, Adrian, hmm. because David believes in delivering products. Most network marketing CEOs are big on hype. So being a marketer like me, I love the hype, but I've, I've come to learn and value that the fact that we deliver product, we don't need the hype, <laughs> um, yeah. is, is hugely valuable for us. Okay. So, so um, that's what I really appreciate about our executive team. They're not the hypey kind. Uh, if you met them, uh, if, and hopefully you will meet them soon, um, you'll understand that uh, they, they're just solid businessmen and not hypey marketing people at Oh, mm -hmm. Dr. Anthony Patonda, um, he comes from a corporate background as well. His wife's actually one of my top leaders. He's actually come, he's pulled himself out of the, out of the, out of the network. His wife runs the, the business for them, uh, Michelle. Uh, and he's basically um, become in charge of the communications of the company. And actually heads up our corporate office. We've got physical offices here in South Africa because by law we need to have a physical office. So he, he runs the physical office here in South Africa. Um, from a corporate side, I don't want to get involved in that. I don't want to run corporate offices. I just want to go out and build my teams. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's what he takes care of. Tony, Tony's there because it was actually, um, how do I, okay, here's the story. We had revenue sharing mobile games. People can, I can play you in a one minute game and I can win a dollar or you can win a dollar. How do you pay a gamer one dollar? if he's on the other side of the world. Because the cost of sending him that dollar is bigger than the actual dollar. <laughs> yeah. So, so the long story short, I knew Tony, and Tony was um, involved in, in um, Bitcoins, cryptocurrencies. 
including some of the scam ones like a Bitnock and some of those ones that are run with your money. Um, and uh, so I said to David, well, listen, David, why? I'm with, I know this guy, Tony, why don't we pay people Bitcoins or fractions of a Bitcoin? Because there's no transaction fees as far as I understand it. I didn't understand Bitcoin that much 20 months ago, 24 months ago. You know? mm -hmm. So the long and the short, Tony and David got on a call together and David in that call asked Tony what he was doing with Bitcoins and Tony explained to him what he was doing in mining and explained to him what the challenges were that they're experiencing in terms of not knowing the owners, not knowing which ones are scams, not knowing which ones are real. And that's why they um, hedged their risk uh, over a number of different mines. And Tony, and David, Tony sorry, sorry, Tony was involved in the likes of um, Big Club Network and Genesis, and was he two years ago? Bit, Bit Club, Genesis, Bitnock, which has disappeared, you name it, he was yeah. in them, okay? And um, so David said, look, you know, I can tell you that, you know, after that call, and David's incredibly bright, he said to Tony, listen, you've got a great model, but I'll tell you something, you got lucky. He says, because I can tell you that some of those mines are scams. Tony said, yeah, he knows. He just doesn't know which ones <laughs> until, until he wakes up one day. And, and he said, one day I'll wake up and one of the sites will be down, you know. Um, so David said, okay, that's great. And Tony sort of helped David understand a little bit about how, um, you know, uh, we could help uh, pay guys in, in, uh, in Bitcoin, uh, created an API to, to do that, uh, uh, put, put David in touch with the guys who could do the API to, 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 to do that payment gateway. And that was in about September, October 2015. <clears throat> I thought that was the end of that. But in December 2015, David called me and he said, Andrew, I've been doing some meditating. And he said, um, listen, you're going to put me on a phone call with that Tony guy again, because I've just, not only have I solved his biggest problem, which is trust, um, but um, if he is able to do some stuff for us, I'm going to launch something that's going to change all of our lives. And he, I put him on a call with Dave, Tony and David on a call together. And David said to Tony, listen, Tony, what was your biggest challenge that we discussed in the last call? And Tony said, well, the fact that we don't know the mine owners, we don't know which ones are real, which ones are scams. And David said, well, what happens if I could give you the most real mine in the world that you could go and visit where your community would own the equipment? No one be renting the equipment. It will be owned. Um, and then help to create an interface whereby they could do exactly what they're doing on BitClub, et cetera. And Tony said, well, if you did that, I'd bring my entire team across to your company, so, um, uh, uh, David. Um, so he said to David, look, how long is that going to take you to do it? And David said, give me one year. So this is, remember, this is December 2015. Well, David said, and Tony said, that's fine. Well, January 2015, I don't know whether you were ever involved with Bitnock, um, but um, guys all woke up one morning and the, the accounts were closed. They could still see Bitnock trading um, on the blockchain or mining on the blockchain. Uh, but they couldn't access their accounts anymore. Tony phoned me and said, listen, you better put that David Martin on the phone to me quickly because I'm basically, I'm stuffed unless we can get my team a, an alternative, a trusted alternative. Put them on a call together and Tony said, David, look, you don't have a year. You've got three months. I really need you to bring us to my community now. And we lost the mine before we even had a name for it. So our games are called Skill Dragon. So we called it Dragon Mine, which was a mistake because it immediately made people, people don't like the word dragon uh, with with due respect to the Welsh dragon. <laughs> uh, but um, um, uh, yeah, dragon mining. There we go. So, um, so we launched it, didn't have a name yet. And Adrian, um, what, 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 what David wanted from Tony was his intellectual property was what was happening in companies like Genesis, in companies like, like BitClub. And Tony brought all that knowledge and David created the software and the user interface and the business model that enables us to, in what we consider to be ahead of them. Because we've got our repurchase compounding strategies automated. We've got multi-mining functions, which none of them have. And that's all the stuff that Tony thought. So in Vegas last year, we go to Vegas every year. Last year, Vegas, Tony was just in the field like me. Um, David and Randy and Ken offered him um, a position at corporate. And that's how Tony got that title, which is the wrong one for him. He should be our resident market, uh, mining expert, not our, mar our marketing officer, which I think will be rectified um, probably in the next right, couple so of so months. So you, you've got to know, um, so, sorry, go, going back a bit, David Martin got in touch with you first. You, you were the first person in with the team, you know, as the top. Yeah, yeah. The so there's two, there's two, well, there's two of us. There's um, my team. 
And then on the other, on the one in my line is a guy called Tahir Hussain, who comes from uh, Malaysia and a Malaysian team. And, uh, you know, I speak to Tahir and he's number one, Lieutenant uh, Logan. I speak to them literally every second or third day. We've become really good friends. We've met, we meet each other. We've met each other a good few times in Vegas. We're in totally different lines of sponsorship. Um, and it's, and, and, and really there's nothing that I wouldn't do for those guys, men of high integrity. Um, and I'm, and I'm, and I, I'm sure there's nothing that they wouldn't do for me. I mean, you know, so, so those are, the, so yeah, those are the two largest sponsorship, my team and their team. So you, so you, but, into- but I've got upline, Adrian, I've got upline. I was signed in, remember the company started in 2008. I came in in 2010. So I've got upline. They just don't do anything. Hmm. So literally they've got nice one big leg underneath me, underneath them, which is me. And then Tahir's on, uh, on the other side of the business. So you, you introduced Tony to, um, to, to, to the owner, Dilly Martin, is that right? Correct. Right. Okay, then. And, um, and Tony had the experience of being in a few scams, uh, Bitcoin scams. Obviously, he was, or he is, or still maybe involved in BitClub or Genesis. So he told Very involved him. in BitClub. Very involved in BitClub. Mind with Genesis. Um, just doesn't doesn't get too excited about them. Likes them. I mean, they're a solid company. He, he just doesn't get excited about them. Yeah. Loves, but, yeah. loves but club, and but loves us most. So, so what, you, what you're saying then is um, that um, Galaxy uh, Lifestyle Galaxy or Galaxy Mining is um, by the way Dra- Dragon Mining. I was being re- the Dragon Mining has been rebranded now to Lifestyle Galaxy. Is that right? So Lifestyle Galaxy is a, is a, is an umbrella company. And then underneath that, we have different brands. So we've got uh, Esports Galaxy, which, is, which used to be called Skill Dragon, which is the games. Yeah. And Learning Galaxy, which are our educational games, where there's no money to be made there. It's just something that David wants to do for the community. We've got um, Galaxy Growth, which we still need to launch, which is personal development. We've got Auction Galaxy, which we are, are busy launching um, in... in uh, Stages. I mean, we just did an auction this weekend, Saturday, or was it Sunday or Saturday? I can't remember. Huge auctions, but the idea is to have reverse auctions uh, running 24 hours a day all around the world. It puts a massive amounts of CD through the tree every time one of those goes. So if they're 24 hours a day, um, it's going to make people a lot of money. Um, and, the, and, the, and the thing, and then of course, we've got my, um, Mining Galaxy, okay? Uh, Galaxy Mining. Um, yeah. And the whole idea behind it, Adrian, if you can see the bigger picture, is we don't just want to be a mine. Because if you mine with BitClub, that's fantastic. Your community comes in, they mine the Bitcoin, they spend it out there. We are trying to create a cryptocurrency ecosystem. Now, that's going to take three to five years. Whereby, help the guy make his cryptocurrency, but at least get him to spend a portion of that cryptocurrency back within the ecosystem, which generates more money for all of us. Okay, and including him. Help him take a portion of the commission that he earns from the network marketing and take a portion of that and spend it back within the ecosystem. So, so but definitely, you know, to, to make things simple, we lead with the mind. That's all we do. We just yeah, lead big, with that. Big, yeah, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is, is a very, it's a hot product right now, isn't it? Everyone is, is only interested in Bitcoin. Gold, I'm involved with gold and silver as well, but nobody seems to be interested in gold or silver. They, they always want Bitcoin. <laughs> Yeah, so, so we'd be silly not to lead with that and then just upsell them into the rest of it as they become part of the community down the line. So, so you'll see my marketing videos we put together with, with my Lifestyle Galaxy, which is, a, which is our duplication tool that's got nothing to do with the company. I've just been with my mentors in Australia, as you know. I put that my Lifestyle Galaxy uh, duplication uh, tool together with, uh, together with them and everything we do there, we just plant the Bitcoin mining up front. It's simple. People understand. They come in then they get exposure to everything else that we do over time. And when can we, when can we start to earn from um, eSports Galaxy, Learning Galaxy, Galaxy Growth Auction Galaxy, and Galaxy Mobile? Okay, so eSports Galaxy, if you go, what, what kind of a phone have you got? Uh, an Apple, iPhone. Okay, we're not, if we're not I, unfortunately we're not on the, in the iStore, but Android Store, if you, go to, if you go and look in the Play Store for eSports Galaxy, you go and download it, bang, stop playing games, immediately. Okay. Um, and then Auction Galaxy, um, you know, we, we, we're up and running in South Africa and Malaysia because those are our biggest communities. And it's up to a guy like you in the UK or Europe to say, listen, we're going huge. And then when it's, when it's got a big enough community there, we, we start launching a day. 
So auction galaxy is like a, a penny bid site, is it? Correct, yeah, reverse auctions, yeah. Yeah. Um, we, okay, that's, that's great. Um, we all know what happened to one of those, um, Zeke Rewards was, a, was one of the biggest scams of all time of, of penny auctions. Yeah, so obviously this is all done, this is all done properly, I'm assuming. Correct, <laughs> correct. Because that was also their only product and advertising. Mm. Now we and 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 listen. No commissions get paid out uh, on getting on the auctions itself. Okay, the so let's get back there. I see your point. So basically, we, there's plenty to work on. You got six, six other products here. I'm sorry, five other products besides the mining. We got yeah. Post Galaxy, Learning Galaxy, Galaxy Growth, Auction Galaxy, and Galaxy Mobile. So we built, we yeah. built, we built the mining side first. Get people in to the Bitcoin side of things first, and then. When they, they they'll see all these other products in in the back office and hopefully they'll grow later on in time. Is it the, the other products? Correct. And hopefully, our, hopefully our marketing gets better over the next two to three years, where we can where the company actually markets to your downline. Oh, guys, there's an auction. Have you seen the auction site? It's not auction. Buy your auction pack. The moment they buy their auction pack, you, uh, CD goes into the tree. No direct commissions. Just CD goes into the tree. Okay then. Anyway, that's, that's great. That's great. That's great information. We can come. I'll come back to that on a, on another call probably. But um, let, uh, let's go back to the to the mining now, um, which is what everyone's um, excited about as well. Um, in, the, in the first instance, the, the, where this where the mining farm is, am I understanding? It's a secret. Nobody. Um, obviously, you know what it is. I, I got the opportunity to come to the mining farm in, in November, but they don't advertise. They're not telling people where the farm is. All right. Correct. So, so, um, yeah. So, look, we've had to sign NDAs with 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 the executives of the mine. And Adrian, this is going to make sense to you. I mean, these guys run a big mining operation. We're all we're we're a big client of theirs. When we when we you know basically what we've done is we've crowdfunded an industrial mine. That's what we've done. Okay. Now, can you imagine if every single Tom, Dick, and Harry knew exactly where the mine is, and everyone starts flying to America and queuing up outside the door of the mine? You know? <laughs> so they've said, guys, look, just to protect us from, and to make sure we don't have all these people queuing up outside the mine, um, you know, uh, you can bring people um, on a tour once a year, and people can take the photographs, and it's really leadership that gets to go, not just anyone. You know, so what do we mean by that? Um, Either you're a big strategy two person who's building a big team, or you've got a huge, huge mining contract. And that's how you get preference right. to get just, to Just two mine. seconds, um, just two seconds, guys. I gotta um, got answer my front door. Can you spare only a few seconds? No problems. My father's at the door. I'm gonna quickly see something here while I'm waiting, Nilesh. Uh, sure, go for it, Andrew. Answering WhatsApps while I wait. <laughs> Maximizing time. There is. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm back. Yeah, so, um, okay. yeah, so, so the mine is a secret, that's fine. But I got the opportunity to come and visit this mine on what dates in November? Okay, so, so, so this, here's what I'm going to encourage you to do, Adrian. Um, come to Vegas first. Come to the company convention, which runs is on the fourteenth and fourteenth and fifteenth of November. November. That's the that's the Eric Warre um, convention. No, 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 that's our company convention. Oh, well, that's your company convention. Yeah. Now, listen. Don't get excited about being a big razzmatazz. We'll probably be about a hundred to two hundred of us there. Um, uh, it's basically the people who are going to Eric Warre and the company does a do for us. Okay, while we're there. All right, but they do a nice, re a nice awards evening and some training, etc. And this is my personal assistant. Let me just tell him I'm on a call. Lauren, I'm just on a uh, on a Skype call to the UK. Can I phone you back? Thanks, man. Cheers. Um, so um, don't expect big razzmatazz there. But you know what you're going to do then is you're going to meet the CEO, the CFO, and the founder. Now that's huge for you, specifically if you want to if you want to launch uh, UK and Europe. Okay, and I'm going to get back to the UK and Europe in a moment, Adrian. So, so let me go this way and then come back to that. Then, then after that is the Eric Worre event. 16, 17, 18 is Eric Worre. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to one of those, but, but I go, I, 
I go back every year just for that. I've been going since 2013. Um, you'll thank me later. <laughs> and I know that you, and um, yeah, it's amazing. I've, year, it's, I've seen it come and go every year, but I've just never been, never just gone to it. I've seen it come and go year after year after year. And I think I should get out there, but I've just never done it, you know? Okay, so, so just come with us this year because you've got a great excuse. And then on the morning of the 19th, Adrian, um, uh, I reckon a whole bunch of us are flying out to Seattle. And we, we sleep that night in Seattle. And things still need to be finalized. But at about 3.30 in the morning of the 19th, sorry, the 20th, 3.30 in the morning of the 20th, we need to get on a bus. I've got to get this organized. It's a lot of stuff that we still need to do. And we're going to drive to the mine, which is about five, six hours drive from Seattle. So we got, we got a five, six hours drive from three half past three in the morning from Seattle to the mine. Yeah. We'll spend an hour at the mine. It's all you need. Believe me, I was there last year. You'll be bored after an hour. Okay. Enough time to shoot a video or two, do an interview or two with, you know, you know do a couple of uh, pictures, bring your Welsh dragon, bring your British flag, bring whatever countries that you want to represent in there and take your pictures, you know. Turn around, go back to Seattle, spend the night of the 20th in Seattle. Um, it's my birthday, so we will celebrate and then, uh, and then we'll head off uh, back home on the 21st. And that's your trip. So 21st, you head back home. So um, yeah, that's four, how many days is that? That's 14. It's a week then. It's a week. 11. It's a ten, yeah. So we we flying out from South Africa on the 11th. Right. Land in, land in Vegas on the 12th, which gives us basically that whole 13th just to get over jet lag. Uh, and then 14, 15 company event, 16, 17, 18 Eric Worry, and then for for those of us go to the mine, the mine on the. On the morning of the 20th, fly back 21st. So it's actually a 10 day trip. From the 11th of November to the 21st, a 10 day trip then? Yeah. Is that 10 yeah. nights or 10, 10 nights accommodate 10 nights uh, to book? 10 uh, nights. So, so um, we're at the Westgate Hotel in Vegas. Nilesh, can you send, a, in fact, let me just send you the stuff here. I'm just going to copy and paste it here, Adrian. Let me just see. Uh, give me one sec. I'll copy and paste it, Andrew. I've sent it to Adrian as well, but I'll copy and paste it. Um, you can carry on. I'll copy and paste. Okay. Uh, all right. Perfect. So, so with, with Neelish, you can just sort out um, the, the, the getting special rates for the, for the hotel. Get Book it quite soon, if you can, um, because I, when, the, when, the, when the rooms that the company's booked are run out, you're going to pay the bigger rates. So the, ten, it's, the, ten, the 10 nights are at the same hotel. Am I moving from hotel no, to hotel? No. 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 In Vegas... The night of the check in the check in on the twelfth, check out on the nineteenth. Twelfth check in, <clears throat> check out on the nineteenth. That's correct. Hi, Ryan. So I'll see you later. Check Seattle. Out. Check Seattle. We stay at seven nights. Seven nights in Vegas. Seven nights. Correct. Because our company convention is in the Westgate Hotel and Eric Worre's convention is you go across a sky bridge, literally, to, to, the, to the Vegas Convention Center. So we don't, know, we don't need to move. The Westgate is actually Eric Worre, and that's the best hotel to stay in for Eric Worre's event as well. On the 19th and 20th, so check in 19th, check out 21st, is the Edgewater Hotel, the Edgewater Hotel in Seattle. So you're going to send all this to me on, on a document, yeah? Yes, Neil has just got that for you. So Edgewater Hotel on the ninth, check in on the nineteenth, check out on the twentieth. Twenty first. Oh, two nights. Yeah, two nights. Your GoPro ticket, which I've got for you, um, Adrian, those are three hundred and fifty dollars. What's the three hundred and fifty dollars for? For go for Eric Worre's event. Right. Okay. So, yeah, if you went to your site, you have to pay six hundred dollars. But I bought a hundred tickets last year, so I got them at a at a huge discounted price of three hundred and fifty dollars, basically thirty five thousand dollars for a hundred. Okay, that's great. So, so that's um, seven nights in Vegas, two nights in at the Edgewater Hotel. That's nine nights. Where's the other night? Those are ten nights. So no, we leave one night in an airplane. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> right, okay, that's great. All right, then, um, well, anyway, let's go back to the, um, let's go, let's go, let's go into the, into the, um, the mind in itself now. What Tony is saying then, that, um, that um, lifestyle galaxy galaxy mining has got a has got a better um, a better mining program than BitClub and Genesis. Is that right? Yeah, and look, he's the real expert there. I just follow Tony. I'm a network marketing expert. He's the mining expert. Uh, I'm still learning, right. so I don't want to pretend that I'm an expert here sitting in front of you on the mining front. Um, I'm not going to try and pretend to be something I'm not. I'm learning a lot, um, and I learn mostly of that just by my own experiences in the mine and, and listen to Tony. But I mean, I just, funny enough, earlier today I was on a call to him and he said to me, he said to me today, literally two hours ago, he said to me, Andrew, I'll say it, I'll say it before and I'll say it again. He said, and the reason he was telling me this, Adrian, let me put it into context. He was in a meeting earlier today, which was so funny, about oh, eight months ago, we went into a meeting with this millionaire uh, who we were told wanted to come mine with us. And, uh, the longer the short of us, we opened up our model to him, um, saying how we do things. And then we never heard from him again. And then through someone else, Tony was called into a meeting today and ends up being the same guy. And this guy started a mind on his own with all his millions using our ideas, our IP that we opened up to him about a meeting. So the context of today's call with Tony was this. I'm laughing at, at, at how this guy, what this guy had done. And how funny it was that they, Tony was in the meeting with him again. Um, but Tony said, Andrew, we need to, he'll never go into another meeting and just open up with an IP like, like, we, like we have done in the past, having learned that lesson. And he said to us, he said to me, Andrew, I've said it to you before and I'll say it to you again. We are the only mining company out there with a model that is capable of outrunning the difficulty curve. He said, Genesis doesn't have it and BitClub don't have it. Without running the what? Sorry? The difficulty. Oh, the difficulty. The difficulty, the difficulty rate. Yeah. 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 He said, BitClub don't have it. And he said, Genesis don't have it. Now, I don't mind with BitClub and I don't mind with Genesis. So I can't comment further than that. Um, but he said, him mining in all of them with that increased difficulty. Um, he said, and, he, and all he said was BitClub's problem, right? And it was it's actually the, not greed, the, he said it was, the, um, them being over exuberant in the beginning and taking 40% of, of people's mining, um, which he said means they can't, they're not, they're not going to be able to keep up with the difficulty as it gets harder post 2020. So yeah, said, basically, yeah, basically I mean, the, the money you put into Big Club Network, only 40% of it goes into the mining, for, the other 40% goes into the binary and the other 20% goes to the owners, is that right? Yeah. Hmm. But with We're Genesis, 100%. 100% of the, 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 the money that people put into our mining contracts go to mining. Yes, they pay the initial ones of 600 to belong to our value club. <laughs> they can still buy a retail mining package if they want to, but they pay the initial uh, $600 once off, and then every single mining contract that they buy from then on onwards, 100% of that goes into, into mining. No commissions get paid out on that. And that's the way it should be. Right, okay, yeah. So... Um... Let me just, um, you, you put that in the chat, Nilesh. You know, can you send that to me on Facebook as well, um, Nilesh? Sure, I'll send that through. Uh, I'll send that through on your email and I'll put it on in Facebook chat. Let, me, um, let me just share my screen for two seconds because otherwise um, these hangouts can go on for hours and hours, can't they? Um, let me just log into, um, let me, um, just for people watching this recording for my team, you've got Dragon Mining. Now, Dragon Mining is where you set up a free account. This is where you become a retail customer and you've got no interest in becoming an affiliate or even building a team or building a network. Is that right? You just set up a free account and you buy mining power. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. Now, so, now have a look what happens there. So log in there for me quickly. Yeah, just okay. log in now. This is for somebody that doesn't want to be... Um, I'm going to click on... Um, no, there's nothing in here. It's in, it's in my other account, isn't it? No, no, so just go into accounting. Accounting. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, the, um, uh, the dashboard, yeah. Um, Bitcoin yeah. dashboard, rather. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, as, you, as you can see, I'm on, uh, so I got seven days left. I invested $10,000. This is for people, in, obviously, in my team. You're watching my, this recording. I, 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 put it, I put in $10,000 um, on the 15th of September. So, 
what happens? Just explain this. Why why this twelve day delay? Just explain that. Uh, I, I know what it is. But just explain it for um for people listening. In. Okay. Because we got real mining equipment. They're not renting the equipment. It's their equipment, um, and uh, it takes um, it takes maximum if they've got to order new equipment from the, you know uh, uh, from from Antpool. You know um, th those are the guys that supply your ant miners. It takes a maximum of twelve days to get that stuff shipped from China to our mine in America. Um, obviously, there's stock in America as well, um, and we, but it still takes a couple of days to hook up the new machinery in the mine. Um, and so what the decision was made is to just standardize it as a 12-day wait to make sure we're always covered and people start mining within 12 days of them buying their contract. Yeah, so what, what about, like I'm spending $10,000 a year, so what you're saying is then they're gonna, they're gonna order a few uh, rigs or mining rigs, two or three mining rigs, whatever they cost, two or three thousand each dollars each, these mining rigs. Yeah. The, yeah, they're going to order some of those from China, deliver it to the states, and then set up my mining rigs specifically for me. Is it just like a one-on-one? -on -one yeah. Is it? It's yours. It's yours. Obviously, on the smaller ones, like five hundred dollar ones, it's not yours. But by the end of the three years, you will own a whole server because of the compounding. You know. Um, well, that's, that's <laughs> that's one, that was my next question. What about some new joins with with just a twenty-five dollar mining um, mining contract? Well, then, they own the fan. then we have shared services, and for them, they own the fan or the or the flag, <laughs> you know, um, there they've got shared services. Um, but for those guys who, who obviously got the bigger contracts, it's your equipment. If you think the mine's doing a rubbish job of, uh, of, of mining for you, you can ask them to DH either to your door at your expense, but it's your mining equipment. You own it. And that's also a big thing for the industry in that, uh, in that we, 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 yeah. we, 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 so what about, yeah, only mining, buying this mining equipment, that's great, but this, surely this mining equipment is not going to, the technology is going to run out of date pretty quickly. So what happens in a year's that's time when it, when it goes out of date and there's, there's new ant miners built? Okay, it? so remember that's your equipment, that's your, those three of, those three as example would be yours. But remember our mine mines is a pool. So, so we are cons that repurchase, that daily repurchase helps the mine to consistently always buy the latest equipment. All right. So, although you own those three particular ones, the rewards are split evenly depending on the size of the mining contracts on everyone's mining. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 So, how, you know, the, the, the million, uh, millions of questions, the same question that comes in all the time because most people get tucked up in scams on the internet and putting money in today and they treat everything as an investment and not so much a business and they want to know if they put $25 in today off or buy one of these. Let me just show the packages. If I click on buy mining, um, you can buy any one of these six packages as, as a free retail customer. Is that right? Any, any one of these? Yeah. So yeah. Somebody, somebody buys, uh, oh, sorry, this is. They, they actually know what, no, they won't see that. See, it, it, it knows that you are, that's your mining site, but it knows that you're a wholesale customer. Yeah. So it's giving you the bigger packages. Um, a, retail, a retail miner will only see. Uh, let me log yeah. into my, uh, let me log into my other company. I got, two, I got two accounts. Let me just log this, log into uh, my customer okay. account. I use this as, just, um, as an yeah. example. Or I'm just on a Skype call. Can I find you back later? So is that about? Okay. Um, so if you go there. Yeah, I'm just, I've just logged into another account of mine, which this is a customer retail account. Okay. Where you can, you, you don't, you don't yeah. have to do the team, no networking, no, no recruiting. You just set up a free account and you can start with $25. Yeah. So the, the, what people ask is, and this is the hardest thing to explain, is how much do I get paid a day on $25? How much do I get paid if I, if I invest $500? How much do I get paid on a daily basis? And when do I break even? When do I get my money back? But, so, so Adrian, we legally we're not allowed to give projections because you know as well as me yeah, that yeah. in mining, there's too many variables. Also, are they recompounding, at, repurchasing at 35% or 100%? You know, there's just too many variables. So we're only allowed to show historical results. Um, and uh, there's actually a, a, a guy in Europe, funny enough, who does, he's got a fantastic YouTube channel called, uh, let me find it for you now. Yeah, um, I know what you mean, yeah. I know the one you mean, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> so I find the best way to handle that, of, that, that question is say, listen, I'm not allowed to give you projections. I can only go on histor historics. This is my own experience, but this was my strategy. And I can take this through my dashboard. But by the way, go to this YouTube channel and look at that guy's results over the last what about, year. What about cost? What about costings? Because people, you, you can use the likes of, um, I'll just put it in here for an example, CryptoCompare.com. And what about electric costs? Are, are there any costs taken out of um, 
So that's included in up, that's in, there's no hidden costs. Or, 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 there's no surprises. That that that's all included. Everything's in there. Um, you don't have to worry about any of those. That's all in there. So this is the mining power we get then. So what you're saying is if we compare like for like, if we compare on a five hundred dollar uh, investment here, you're gonna get two thousand seven hundred giga hash plus a bonus of three hundred, so you're getting three thousand giga hash. So yeah. what you're saying is for like for like, comparing this with um, Genesis or or Big Club Network, you're saying that this is going to pay how much more? A lot more. You, you, you don't know how much more. It's just, it's, just, it's just paying more on a daily basis. Because we have a forced repurchase compounding strategy, yeah. over time, they cannot keep up with us. That's right. Let me just, let me just explain that to, to people on the recording. You're talking about, um, where are we by here? Uh, BTC dashboard. You're talking about this up here in settings here on the top right. This is what you're talking about, isn't it? You can set this from 35% or basically this is mandatory set to 35%. So we're actually, Dragon Mine is, is compounding 35% every day, whether we like it or not. Is that right? We have to compound 35% a day. We can withdraw 65%. I'm forced to do that to help you stay ahead of the difficulty curve and to help you grow, expand your mining operation. Yeah. So you can start with, after 12 days, you can start withdrawing 65% on a daily basis. But you have to compound 35%, which is a good thing, really. Yeah. And you can set yeah. this 100% if you want. You can, under, you can compound 100% if you want for the first couple of weeks or months to build up your, um, build your mining power up. Is that right? That's correct. And um, with regards to the Bitcoin withdrawals, I haven't done this yet, but I'll copy and paste my Bitcoin wallet address into here. Is the withdrawal into Bitcoin automatic or do you have to manually withdraw from this back office into, into your right, right. No, you, you decide when you want to do it because if it was done, if it was automatic every day, you'd be paying that little transaction fee every day. So what a lot of people do um, is they keep the Bitcoin in there until the end of the month and then they move it to whatever wallet or the end of the week and then they move it. So, but you put your Bitcoin address in there once and you don't have to do it again. Uh, you save it and then when you want to withdraw it, if you go to... Um, Go back to your dashboard, that little blue button that says back to dashboard. Now down, down. Down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. Yeah. So you'll see there that you've got that, you got that Dragon Mine uh, uh, um, uh, emblem, that little coin. And below it, it says how much Bitcoin you've got. Yeah, yeah. And you just click withdraw when, when, yeah. whenever you want to draw, click withdraw and click. Well, and, what, and are you, and what are you talking about? What, what fees? You, you mentioned fees there. What, what are you, you said not to so withdraw. That's your standard. Fees. What that's fees? Your standard that's your, just your standard uh, blockchain fees for the miners. You know, every time you send a Bitcoin to anyone else, they're always local fees that are involved. Oh, right. yeah, I thought you meant, and yeah, I th that's normal then. I thought you meant some other fees, and that's normal, isn't it? No, no, no. No, just, just the normal fees. So obviously, if it was automated that they do it every day, well, you'd be paying those fees every day, whereas if you just left it for a week, you'd pay the fees once. Right. So let me just show, for example, again, for the people in my team watching this recording, I got the two screens here now on two different tabs. So as a, as a retail customer coming in as a free member with no recruiting, you will start at $25. And it goes up to $500, but you can buy as many of these as you want, can't you? If I want to buy 10 times 25, I can, I can spend 250, or I can buy 10 times 500, is that right? That's correct. Do, to, do me one favor, go, go and look at your, um, it's, it's very small, it looks very small, but go, that $500 retail one, you get 2,700 gigash plus a bonus of 300. Just go to the wholesale one quickly. Go into your other tab. Yeah. Yeah. And on that one, you get an extra 130 giga hash bonus. Um, but if you also look at your repurchase rate, if you look at your uh, um, your Bitcoin, just below there, 0.1283 per Bitcoin. And if you go to the other one, you'll see that you're paying more than that as well for your for your repurchases as well. So when you are repurchasing and compounding at a at a at a uh, at a um, uh, on a daily rate, that starts to actually. No, what, what, is, what you're saying is, if I spend um, five hundred dollars as a customer on a free account, I'm getting three thousand giga hash. Is that right? Two thousand seven hundred. Yep. And that, just below that, you'll see your price per giga hash. Zero point one six six seven per yeah, giga hash. Yeah, zero point one six six seven. Yeah. Okay. But if I go to the other one, as in, this is as, a, as, a, as an affiliate, as a wholesale affiliate. I'm getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting a cheaper rate of 0 0.1597 per giga hash. Is that right? Correct. And a bigger bonus. And a bigger bonus, yeah. And, and to become, just to become an affiliate, um, we're looking at, um, in the UK, it's $400 one time, but, but that's split over two payments, $200 today and $200 in four weeks' time. Is that correct? 
Yep, that's right. And then just so you know, that is all going to change. I would say within the next six months, the whole world will be on $600. So, you know, for those guys who, you know, here in South Africa, we're on $600 already. Um, it's fantastic. I prefer the 600 to the 400. There's way more money to be made. Um, um, but uh, yeah, so you guys can expect that change. Um, Adrian, I guess when you come to, to Vegas and you chat to our executives um, and you're going to build a big team, they'll probably lean on you as to when you want to change it. Um, but it will All probably right. be in the next... It's a, world, it's, a worldwide, it's a worldwide thing. Of, it's going to become $600. And how much commission do we get off the $600, you know? Your once of commission, whether it's 400 or 600 is the same. It's $150. Yeah. But the CV that goes into the tree is dramatically different. Right. 200 CV and a 400 and 450 CV on a 600. The guys will be cycling like crazy. Yeah, I've got this print off here. It's four pages, as you can see. It's not. It's just put. It's text. Tech put together text. So I don't think Nilesh done this. But um, it's it's a binary, if you want to build a team, it's a, it's a binary conversation plan. Is that right, Eric? So you, as, I'm reading this as you've already just said. If somebody signs up uh, in the UK, um, it's four hundred dollars one time payment, and uh, the person referring will get one hundred and fifty dollars, as you just said. Um, okay. But I actually got a nice, when I recruited somebody, if, when I, the people I recruited, I only got a $50 bonus. They, they didn't um, give me the full 150 they only gave me a $50 because bonus. They're gonna pay the balance, they'll pay you the balance when the second payment comes off, yeah. So they'll pay me the, the, the difference, will they? Yeah. Right, okay. And you have to get one, you have to qualify in the binary, you have to get two people, one on your left and one on your right, is that right? Yeah. That, and they each have to be doing, paying it as, miners don't pay $30 a month. They only have to pay mine, okay? Also miners. But if you are building a team, if you're doing what we call strategy two, then you pay $30 a month. It comes with your commission and puts 30 CV into the tree. So to be, to be um, considered active and qualified, you need a, one person on your left doing strategy two and one person on your right doing strategy two personally signed up. Okay. Um, when, when do you pay your thirty dollars a month? From what day? From, from, <clears throat> from so if you put it on your credit card, but you can't elect to have it done in your credit card. That will be from the day that you signed up thirty days later. If you if if you just wanted to come with your commission, um, you, when your first commission clears, thirty days from there. In fact, oh, in fact, if you paid on Bitcoin, you have to make an invoice for Bitcoin every month, thirty dollars a month. An invoice. Well, you, you can't have the thirty dollars coming off the Bitcoin. It's either off your credit card or with your commission. Right, okay, right, okay. And uh, what if there's not enough commission in, in to pay it? You have to, you have to pay it on the credit card then, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and um, basically I'm reading this now, I, I only read this myself here, but uh, you can qualify doing up to 50,000 a week. Yeah. That's the on the, on, on the binary, yeah, that's just on the binary. It doesn't include your matching bonuses, etc. just on the binary. That's just on the binary. Yeah. How, how, how does that work then? What do you mean? The, I thought, so, the, I thought the so you can cycle. So every, time, if, every time you cycle, you make $50. Yeah. So you can cycle up to $50,000 worth of cycles a week before they cut off. But that doesn't include your matching bonuses. So... So, um, I don't know if, it's, if they've got it to anywhere below here, Adrian. Uh, team I, under, I, understand the, the, I understand this. You, got, you need 900 points on one leg and 300 points on yeah. the other leg. And that's the cycle, is that right? Yeah. So, so I don't know whether they've put your, 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 your matching bonuses, but we've got matching bonus level one, two, and three. Are on, so I have put them on it. The matching bonuses are on. So, as, you, as Adrian scrolls down, uh, here we go. Three level of leadership matching bonus. There we go. Yeah. So that fifty thousand dollars does not include this, right? So, so sorry, yeah. So the fifty thousand dollars a week that's just on the cycling then. Yeah, right. It doesn't include your sign up bonuses of one hundred and fifty dollars, and it doesn't include your matching bonuses. Okay, just explain the matching bonuses to me, and then uh, that's that, that works okay. on how many levels? Uh, three. So your matching bonus level one. If you've personally signed up six people who are active doing strategy two. Every time they cycle, you get a 20% matching bonus, you make $10. LMB2, you personally signed up 12 people, and any time people two levels below you cycle and make their $50, you also make $10, 20% matching bonus. And, and, and on the third level, you personally signed up 14 active people, 
three levels below you, when those people cycle, you make a 10% bonus, which is $5. So, so when, you re, when you start recruiting people, you, it, this is forcing you into building people on right and left because you need, you need three members Correct. on the left and right, at least four members on the left or the right. Correct. So you, you, do, you need four members on the left or the right. You don't, need, you, don't, you don't need four on the left and four on the right. No, you need four on the left and 10 on the right, or four on the right and 10 on the left. You have 14 personally signed up people. Right. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, so you have four on the right and 10 on the left, or four on the or left and 10 on the right, whichever way. Correct. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Sorry, I'm just going to put this up here. So this is some commissions that have come through today. Uh, okay. So can you see leadership matching bonus level three there? Can you see that? What am I looking at now? I'm looking at the US screen, aren't I? All right, okay, hold on. No, no, no. I've actually got it up on the camera here. Yeah, I can see the camera, yeah, yeah. So you can see matching bonus three there, $5. And then I think there's one that says level one, $10. So those are all matching bonuses that are coming through from other people cycling. Right. How many members okay. are in? How many members are in Lifestyle Galaxy right now worldwide? How many are we talking? A couple of thousand? It's not big. It's not so, big. Yeah, I mean, look, and obviously some of them are just mining. But what's beautiful about the members is, and this is very important for me to tell you guys, um, if you're into network marketing, we have no attrition because if a guy starts mining with us, he's not going anywhere. Even if he's failing at the network marketing, the mining's making him money, and CV's going through the tree every day. So we have no attrition. So I would say it must be between 20 to 30,000 people now part of our community globally, are taking a guess, um, of which I'd say 10% are probably building the business and the rest are just mining away. So 90% are retail customers just mining away and 10% are uh, wholesale affiliates. Not necessarily, not necessarily retail customers. They join the value club to get access to the mining contracts at wholesale price yeah. and they just mine. But it's a good idea to do that anyway, even if you don't want to recruit, get into the, the retail, um, the value club, as you call it, and then get a position anyway, isn't it? Just for later on, isn't it? And uh, it's exactly what we've noticed happening over the last year and a half, is that a lot of people do that. Because you know what that thing is about network marketing, oh, I don't do that. But when they see our mining results within six months, they want to go and tell their friends. And then we shift them across your strategy too, and teach them how to tell their friends properly. So what's going on in one of my legs? And obviously I'm building one of my legs right now. I'm building my own power leg. But what about my other leg, which is which supposed to be your power leg? That seems to be very weak. What's going on there? There's nobody there. It's not my power leg. So yeah, those, leg. Guys are that, those guys on that side have been... Have been so uh, that, does that mean the lash is not working hard enough or what? Or not, been, or <laughs> not working hard enough or what? Uh, I haven't had a look at uh, Nilesh's business for a while, um, but Nilesh is not a personal sponsor of mine. I'm not, he's not personally signed up. I mean, he's, he's deep in depth. Um, I respect Nilesh deeply, which is why I spend time with him. I believe he's going to be one of our biggest guys in the next two to three years. Um, he only really made a decision by his own ambition in the last three months to take the business seriously again. So Adrian, basically, I don't know where Nilesh has placed you, but if you know binary, he, Nilesh is probably on the inside of the inside of the inside of one of my legs. So I'll spend time with him. But I'm not putting my personals below. In fact, I don't do many personal signups anymore. Um, but I'm working very hard with them, which is why I'm on this call with you and your team to build big teams with them. And I'll do the same with you. Um, but uh, Nilesh, uh, he's got, I don't know, in the last month or so, I've met a whole bunch of Nilesh's guys. We're all getting serious now. Um, I'm just going to have a look at his, I haven't, looked, I haven't even looked at his business. Yeah, so, but, Nilesh, uh, so Nilesh, why did, you, why did you go back to sleep then? You started this in January. Why did you go off? Or why did you go slow and now come back? What happened then? Tell him. You tell him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, Adrian, I just uh, was sleeping for a little while because I, I had my focus on other things at the, at the, at the time. And... Um, Next thing I know is that the team is growing and uh, I'm... It's only, since, it's only since I came into the team that you've woken back up, is it? Sorry? It's only since I've come into the team that you've woken back up. <laughs> no, 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 no. So uh, what happened is whilst I was sleeping, I've been earning all of the... I've been cycling and earning these matching bonuses and uh, I realized, hey, you know, I'm not doing anything and, uh, you know, it's, it's giving quite a nice income whilst I was focused on other things and I realized, hey, well, if I put some effort in here, you know, whilst I'm not doing anything, it's giving me quite a nice income. So if I actually put some effort in here, you know, what more can it give me? Mm. So that was, the, 
there is a reason why I woke back up. And, um, you know, that's, that's the reason why I now in the last uh, month or so I'm working more, not last month, uh, probably last month or two, working a lot more closely with Andrew and, and getting guys, getting the team back up again. So, um, yeah, it's, it's so really good. Has Andrew, has, um, has Andrew got an incentive to help you build up that weak leg then, up, that, which, is, which is supposed to be a power leg? I, um, you know, Adrian, oh, no, I, not you, sorry. Yeah, Andrew, yeah, I mean, um, you, not so much you and the other guy as well, uh, Tony as well. Who's, who's, does Tony got more of an incentive than you, Andrew, I mean? Yeah, so Tony, and Neelish isn't in Tony's business, but uh, Tony's, uh, because he's part of corporate as well, has got a responsibility to help leaders in the field with people and, and talk about the mining. It's part of his job, uh, from a corporate point of view, part of his job spec. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I've got a huge vested interest in Neelish because I believe I found a really good leader there and I just work with leaders now and I develop new leaders. And uh, Neelish is uh, an extremely high caliber guy. I mean, I've known him for a good couple of years. He just needed... He just needed to make the decision to go big. And uh, I think that decision was made about two months ago. Um, so now I'm incredibly excited to work with them and yeah, hopefully you as well, man. So, yeah. So, so what about if I, if I want to do any more um, webinars or hangouts in the next couple of weeks or months then, who's, who's supporting me with those then? Me and Nilesh. And even if you're on Tony, will make yourself available. Right. Yeah, we're here to support you. I want to, I, I, I've, um, I've gone out to Belgium and Netherlands and sort of launched over there as well. We've got little teams going there. I've been to the UK, although I haven't launched. I, I, I want to fly over to Europe next year and do some big launches, man. I want to fly and, and do events. Mm. You help me do that. I'm coming over and I'm helping you physically. Right, okay. That's great. Okay. Um, let me just share my screen again. Just, just do one more, one more, a few more questions. Yeah, just finish off on this. Matching bonus, that, that's the matching bonus. And so how much can you earn? You said 50,000 a week. That's unlimited. For cycling, how much that, can you earn on the matching bonus? Uh, look, that's unlimited, yeah? So, um, so look, uh, 50, 100,000 a week if you want. So the- I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. So no, the, cycling but, is 50, yeah. the cycling is 50K a week max out, and this is, there's no maximum we can earn on the- No matching bonuses. No max on the matching bonuses, no. Right, okay, and um, on these LMB ones, these are promotional uh, promotional titles, they are LMB1, LMB1. You know, you know, Adrian, when you come to Vegas, you're going to see a completely different new names for all of this, etc. Making more, making them more sexy. We've got star bonuses as well, lifestyle bonuses, which are totally, um, no one's ever reached them, they're unreachable. They've, they've, uh, they've, you know, they've got advice from, um, from, from some uh, network marketing experts. That's all going to be what I believe um, uh, launched for us in, in, at this Vegas trip that we're all going on. So, um, so yeah, the LMB will have a different, LMBs will have a different name. We've got star bonuses, lifestyle bonuses, which are come in over and above this. So there's a lot of exciting stuff that will be exposed to in Vegas in terms of that. But this is what you definitely is achievable for everyone right now, what, you, what you've got on your screen now. Yeah. With regard just to, to the points, say somebody puts in five hundred dollars as a one-time payment into the as a free member, as a, as a free retail miner, the, 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 there's no there's no upfront commission off that, is there? As an upfront, it's only when they start earning when they start compounding. Is that right? So, yeah, so basically, um, they're forced to repurchase minimum thirty-five up to a hundred. Yeah. Of that daily repurchasing, the company has a separate pool that matches at 5%. And when that 5% reaches a dollar value of $2, of $2, it puts 2 CV in the tree. Now, on the smaller contracts, on a $500 contract, that won't be 2 CV a day. That's probably more like 2 a month or 2 every 2, every two weeks, depending on you know, where they are, but where they, you know, how much they are repurchasing at, um, what percentage. But I will tell you that with you know within a year or so that becomes two CV a day and then it becomes three CV a day. Um, um, can I share my screen with you quickly? Yeah, go on. Uh, so how do we do this now? So Andrew, there's no there's no action. You haven't got any promotional any sort of um, easy way of getting this over to people to explain the CV. Is that right? Um, so the CV is just BV, so it's very easy to explain. Um, a sign up, 
puts 200 or 450 CV in your tree, anyone who's paying that $30 a month, that puts uh, 30 CV in your tree. And then your mining CV is two CV a day, a week, and, and, and bigger. So let me, what we do, Adrian, is I'm just going to log into my, to one of my accounts here. Just give me a sec. And you need a you need a match of is it six hundred on the left and nine hundred on the right or is it three hundred on the left six hundred on the right? Doesn't matter as long as it's one two thirds one third. Right. Um, uh, give me one sec. I'm going to show you what that CV that mining CV starts to look like. Uh, we don't share my screen here. Yeah. Share screen. Mm. Can you guys see my screen? It's coming through, I think. Uh, there you go, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the best way for me to explain it, if you come look up here. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see the screen, yeah. Okay, so you see, see, the, you see over here, 450 CV, that was a sign up. This yeah. is while we've been talking, by the way. 30 CV, someone pays at $30 a month. 450, 450, 450, 450. So if we keep going down, this is all in the last couple of hours. Uh, people can pay over three months, over three payments. So that's that 150 there. There's someone probably in your UK business or in Zimbabwe. Uh, Zimbabwe, uh, the 200s are only coming from Europe or UK or Zimbabwe. So what is, the, what is the, 200, the 150 and the 200? What is that? Is that a... Where's that come from? Is that a, um, that's not a month. Okay. No, so the 150 is someone who's joined but is using a, they can pay off over three months. Oh, I know the, 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 three, the, the, the easier payment of, of paying the, the 600 or the 400. Correct. Correct. The 200 is obviously someone from Europe or Zimbabwe. We are still running the $400 packages. Well, so somebody's joined and paid $400, you've been paying 200. You've got 200 CV. Yes. Remember, $400 package puts 200 CV in the tree. A $600 package puts 450 CV in the tree. 450 CV. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So here's more people. 450, 450, 450, 450, 450, 450, 450. That's all today. Now look here. See these twos? You see there? Yeah. Yeah. That's mining CV for expense mining. Yeah. Now I want you to watch this. Unlike other network marketing companies, the longer someone is with this company, even if they're paying at network marketing, the more CV I get from them because they are growing their mining capacity, which means that 35% daily repurchase gets bigger and the 5% yeah. of that 35% gets bigger all the time as well. So look yeah. at this. If you look at this, this is one day. This is all in one day. Look at the date, 18th, 18th, uh, the 18th of September. Look at yeah. Okay, so look at that. That's one page. Let's go one page, two page, three page, four page, five pages in. There's zero attrition. Literally zero attrition, which is a network marketer's nightmare. Look at this. We are five pages in. Look, now they have three CVs. This comes to every morning before I take my head off, the tape, off my pillow. Four CVs. So yeah, someone I was earning that's incredible, yeah. Five CVs. Now you must understand some of these guys I was earning two CV a day from a year ago, but because their minds got bigger, my CV that I make from them gets bigger. So you got five CV, six CV, seven CV a day, eight CV a day, nine CV a day. Okay, so let's go to the next page. And how many levels this is down to infinity, is that right? Infinity, yeah. 10, 11, 12, 12, 11, 15, 14, 16, 15, 17, 19, 21 CV a day, 44 CV a day. I mean, he's obviously the really big mind, you know? Yeah. So almost six pages of CV coming from mining alone every morning before I take my head off the pillow. All right. And, um, so basically, from an um, from an income point of view, you, you, it's, it's, it's probably you always earn more money if you build a team. The people who build a team earn more money, obviously. 
But um, do you, are you getting more money from just the team, or are you getting more money from your mining power? I'm assuming you're getting more money from the team than you need, am I right? I'm making way, way, um, you know, I'm, I'm not allowed to make income claims, but I can tell you I make north of forty, fifty thousand dollars 50000 a month yeah. from my... Um, from my team, from my from our network marketing business, and the mining is the mining. I mean, I, if if I wanted to make more money from the network mark, from the from the mining than I do from the network marketing, it would, it would require me to to pump quite a lot of money into contracts to make fifty thousand dollars worth of mining returns a month. You know, but I could if I wanted to buy some big mining contracts. So you um, haven't got any mining contracts then, except the thirty five percent that's compounding for you. You all your money. Yeah, I've got a, Yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still here, yeah. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, what I'm saying is all the money you're earning on a monthly basis, whatever you're earning, 40, 50 grand a month, that's all from the team, but not, nothing's from the mining, nothing's from your own personal mining. That, that, that excludes my mining. Excludes. I can also make, yeah. yeah. What I'm trying to say is you, you're always going to earn more from the building of the team than you are from the mining, is that right? So let me, let me try, how do I put this? Well, for me, yes. Some other people might not be making as much from the networking because they're not, they haven't got big teams, so they make more from the mining. Maybe they've got a, a $50,000 mining contract and they've got a small team, so then it's the other way around. The point is, once they're mining with us, they're not going anywhere. Yeah. And um, what is just um, the worst scenario here with regards to, um, imagine now, um, I went to, I'm not going to mention any names, I went to a, a cryptocurrency event on, on the weekend in London of, of a, a, a new company that's um, launching or just launched in the last few weeks. And apparently they've already got 25,000 members already and they've only been up and running in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. It's gone crazy. And, um, but basically, how can someone, um, you know, they, they've linked up, this particular company have linked up with Genesis. How, how can somebody supply all this mining hardware? That, that fast, you know, all of a sudden, what, what happened if um, 100,000 members joined, um, joined Dragon Mine or Lifestyle Galaxy tomorrow and, the, and they all stuck $100,000 each in or even $10,000 each in? How would, how, could you so, supply, how could you supply that equipment? How could you do it? Would it be so, possible, right? So, yeah, it would be. It, it, so, look, if it's a nice problem to have, but yeah. they, the, the company. Neither company can do what we've done. We've got ecopods, which we can shoot up in a, in, in, in a, in a tenth of the time that a normal company with a normal warehouse can do. That's, 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 that's IP that belongs to us. Um, look, if it were to ever be that, you know, um, 10,000 people all bought a $100,000 mining contract within in the same month, um, I think that would be <laughs> a, a huge nice problem to have. But yeah, if, yeah, exactly, if, exactly. What, what I'm understanding is, is what I'm understanding is these mining farms, they're not struggling in such as keeping the farms maintained or serviced. They're struggling in getting the, the people to build the mining, the people that are building the mining rigs for them. You know, the, the ant miners, they, they, they yeah, can't you don't have the big, Yeah, you don't have that, you don't have that same problem with the, with the GPUs and um, that are mining your, Ethereum and your expense because you can get GPUs anywhere. But in the Bitcoin, yes, there's only one supplier. And that is um, it's, um, the guys that own Antpool. Um, so, um, yeah. but here's the thing is what, what, what Randy's become very good at, our CFO, through, through those challenges which you've just mentioned, but on a smaller scale, is to ensure that we are, um, is, is, is that he's got pre orders going all the time, six months a year in advance almost. Um, to, to ensure that we that we yeah. anticipate. Um, um, now, yeah. now, I seriously doubt we're going to go from where we are now to all of a sudden 100,000 people, 10,000 people doing $100,000 contracts. But if things are scaling towards that, then the pre-orders would be for that size moving. Yeah, it really takes, there's, no, there's no real, I, I, know, I, I don't know, I'm not a real expert on the, on the you said you've got 10,000 members in, in um, Lifestyle Galaxy. Is that right? 10,000 members right now? No, more than that, about 30,000. Oh, 30,000 members. Sorry, also, you did say, sorry, 90% are, uh, are, are, are retail customers and 10% are affiliates. Is that right? 
80 to 90 are just mining, be it wholesale or retail, and 20, 10 to 20 are building the, are building the network. So what, what happens if there aren't, there aren't any real big leaders in this yet? I don't think it's a, I mean, there's lots of different big leaders from different countries. What if um, some big leader, you know, in, um, in the UK or, or Australia, and all of a sudden it took off and they started doing private webinars, all of a sudden then, there's a, you know, it doesn't take long to get up to 30, 40, 100,000 members, is it, in the network? That's fine. That's fine. Because none of those, it, I mean, the question that you asked earlier, which is a great one, is what happens if 10,000 people bought a $100,000 mining contract? I mean, that's a lot of machinery. But, but lots of, we, we are totally, and the, listening to what Randy said to us in a sort of a field executive meeting a couple of months back, we can totally kick up with hordes of people joining on, this, on, on, the, on the smaller, oh, variances of all those mining contracts. So the, the question you asked me earlier was, what happens if they all get $100,000 mining contracts? And it's a very good question. I mean, it would, it would, it would be a big problem, nice big problem to have, but the company, wouldn't, the company would never manufacture gigahash out of thin air and pretend that they're paying. They would probably, they would definitely, definitely- uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's the next, uh, let me just, let me just go back to sharing my, have you got anything else to share before I go back to my screen? Yeah, go back, go back. Go back. Yeah, um, that's a good question because anyone could make it up, couldn't they? Anyone could sell mining contracts. Like, like for example, Genesis Mining now have stopped selling mining contracts until the 31st of October, apparently. This, you know, they've stopped selling mining contracts. Yeah. But they, easily, they have to catch up. If they wanted to easily, they, they could still carry on selling them if they wanted to, couldn't they? And pull the wool over, over our eyes. And nobody would know any difference, would they? They wouldn't know any different until they get caught. Yeah. So, yeah. um, the nice thing about Genesis is that they're a proper company with directors that are accountable to, yeah. you know, um, to, to the court of laws. So they're not, they're not an, an anonymous scam sitting in China, which a lot of people get, get caught up in. That's right, yeah. Let me, um, and it's the same with, our, same with our executives. You know, um, Randy's made it very clear. You know, he has a CFO who's got fiduciary duties, fiduciary duties, and and if, and if he were going to do exactly what we fear, which is what you just mentioned, well, the first person to go to jail would be him. Hmm. Well, there, yeah, yeah you, you would be running um, an, an illegal sort of Ponzi scheme then, wouldn't you? If you started selling mining power that you didn't have, wouldn't you? Wouldn't that? Correct. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking for the file. I just want to talk quickly about, um, I can't find the PDF, I don't think. The, 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 uh, the countries. Um, there's a list of countries which we are in, and we're not in every single country. Like, for example, we're not in the States, we're not in Canada. Yeah. Why is that? Obviously, it's all to do with SEC regulations. And Correct. It's the same reason that BitCup pulled out of America. Yeah. You need, an, you need to be SEC regulated, um, certified, and we don't want to do that. And, and, like, uh, and every single state in America has their own set of laws. So uh, the company, we, and we might get there, uh, but the company said, um, there's, the world is so big where you don't have to go to launch one country, go through 55 different, you know, uh, laws for each for each state. Whereas if you want to go and open up uh, Austria, that's one that's that's one law you're going to look at. You know, right? So I think our next countries that will open up will be Australia. I mean, not Australia, New Zealand. Um, it's fairly soon, I think. Um, so these, these are the countries we're in right now. Is that right? You can see my screen, can you? Yeah, yeah, those These are the like open countries. Right yeah. now. Now, UK, Australia, obviously, the list is here. So, what, what does it take then to get into? Um, um, I, I don't know. I got, I got one guy, for example, he's a, he's a big network, but he lives in Serbia. But he, he can't sign up because he lives in Serbia. I'll, um, uh, Adrian, I will say something unofficial to you later. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, obviously, with um, is there any way of um, if if a, I know this, I don't know if, if I should say this, but if somebody's in a country where they shouldn't be, where, they, where they're not supposed to sign up, why can't they set up a limited company in the UK and run a, a limited company from the UK? So, say they live in the states, for example, they live in the US. Why can't they set up a limited company in the in the UK and run it as a, a UK limited company and sign people up? So, so Adrian, I mean, Nilesh mentioned that to me yesterday, and I think that would be one of the great, great questions that you can ask Randy when you're face to face with him in Vegas. Right. Okay. That's brilliant. Okay, then. Um, but you will, you will look, you are looking to go into other countries if there's, if there's enough people there or leaders there. For example, um, you're a big Pakistan, Bangladesh. 
Yeah, so if you've got a big serving leader as an example, you want to go really big, what we would do is we'd put him on a call with corporate, with Randy. Uh, Randy would then have him help us look up the legal legalities in Serbia. We'd appoint a legal firm in, um, uh, in Serbia to look into our business model to make sure we are um, about board in everything we do there. And then he would help us open Serbia as an example. And that's pretty much how the company has expanded into most of these countries um, uh, over the last year or two. Okay, so it's possible to get into those type of countries, but probably America and Canada is probably impossible, is it? At some point, right now, I would say America and Canada are as near to as possible, impossible as it is, as it can be, without it being totally impossible. The, the, basically, the company has said those will be the last two they look at because of the work that it takes to open those countries and the effort it's going to take versus opening up global countries. Um, which is actually where most of our teams are, you know? Right. But, but you, you said, if, if I speak to you later, there may be, um, there may be a, a legal a, a route around something to, to help people, is it? Well, you know, that's not for me to, to say, um, Adrian, but if you went and if, when you come to Vegas and you sit with Randy and I'll facilitate that meeting for you with, with pleasure, um, and you say to him, you know, this is what you suggest. He's either going to say, oh, you might be onto something or he'll just shut you down right then and there. And that's the end of that. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Then just trying to think was any, um, I'm trying to, th uh, yeah, from a legal point of view, um, solicitors wise, have you got a, 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 an on, an onboard solicitor or are you using, um, a reputable sort of solicitor within the MLM space to, to, to legalize all this? Who are you using for that? So um, they've used a South African law firm. They, 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 have, they have legal firms in most, most, okay, let's put it this way. Any country, those, those are all the open countries. Some of them, nothing's really happening there. So there's no need to really go to the expense of having a, a solicitor in that country. But in any, any country where we have strong teams, um, in any country where we have strong teams, there'll be legal, local legal firms that represent us. Um, but our biggest firm that looks after our account is um, Norton Rose Fulbright. Have you, have you heard of them? No, can you, can you spell that for me? What are they called? Norton Rose Morton Fulbright. Rose. No, Norton, Norton, N, N for Nelly. Or oh, Norton Rose, yeah. And then Fulbright, F-U-L, I think it's double L-B-R-I-T-E. But if you Google them, they're one of the world's largest law firms. Full, so very, very, very Fulbright, Fulbright. Fulbright, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Norton Rose Fulbright. Yeah. So they, they're the legal solicitors acting for you, are they? Those are the guys that look at our that look at our business model first and foremost. And then they um, and then they give it the go ahead. And then uh, from there it goes on to um, any of the smaller legal firms that we also employ in, in various countries. Give me one second, my wife's just at the door. Yeah. All right, so this 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 all right. Well, I'll leave in the next five minutes. Yes, okay, sorry. Yeah, we'll close this down in a couple of minutes. Um, Norton Rose, then, what they do there? They're based in the UK. Are they, they based in South Africa or, or where? They're based in, I think they've got, they've got offices globally. So they'll find a way of, of finding a solicitor on the ground in, in, in a particular country to get it legal in that country, is it? In conjunction with, as example, the company might say to your Serbian leader, Find us a legal law, a law firm in, in Serbia as well. And the legal, your guy in Serbia knows connections better than anyone else. And then, and then Randy will start talking to them. All right. Okay. But what about, um, I'm not sure if you can answer this question. I, 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 I may, have, may have to wait until November. What if that guy in Serbia wants to sign up as an affiliate, but he's not going to sponsor people in Serbia. Can he still sponsor people out of Serbia? Is that legal? No, no. Um, so, Let's yeah okay <laughs> yeah no worries okay the ways and means are thing but but not on a big scale okay okay then it's brilliant let me just uh, so I think that's about it really um I probably missed I, I didn't really prepare for this I got to be honest I didn't write anything down because I've been all over the place the last couple of days so um I think we've done pretty well I think considering um this is yeah uh, hasn't been organised. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll just, you know, get this recording to my team and um, hopefully um, I'm going to try and bring in some 
some few key leaders, that's the plan. But like you said, 90%, 90% of people don't want to do, 90% of people don't want to do nothing. They just want to buy Bitcoin mining contracts and sit back and, and think they're going to get rich. That's great. But I want to try and find some key people, you know, to, um, that are going to network this. That's the plan for me as well. Yeah. Yeah. So if you've got those key networkers, put them on a call with me. Even see Adrian, if you can get them to come to Vegas. I think, you know, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll get a lot of confidence by meeting David and Ken and Randy. They won't be blown away by the company event. It's a small little company event. Um, but they'll start feeling comfort that they're part of launching something really big. You know, yeah. the vision's there. And when have I got, when have I got a pay by um, Nilesh? Uh, is it a certain date that I have to make a payment for these for the hotels and to book things? Yeah, so, so very quickly, because um, I've also got to go now, but very, very quickly, just go and book your hotel now. Go and book your room now, Adrian, before um, that's, uh, uh, all the rooms are booked out and you have to pay the big, bigger rate. You don't, you, don't, you don't have to pay a deposit, you just book. Okay, Nilesh will give you that site now. And then have you got PayPal? PayPal, yeah. You can just send me $350 to, to uh, via PayPal to for your GoPro tickets. So Nilesh has sent me the link. Is he sent it to me on Facebook, Nilesh? You sent me the link. For yeah, us. I've, I've sent you the link um, for the hotel accommodation chat on Facebook and on email. Um, that's accommodation as well as the company event details on there, as well as some information on GoPro. Um, and you can send the three hundred fifty dollars to Andrew via PayPal. For the ticket, yeah, so I'm that on, Skype, on Skype, I've just sent you my PayPal address. I'll send it to you. Okay, as well. then guys, I'll, I'll leave you go. That's been a great call, and um, thanks for your time and everything. And um, yeah, I'll just keep in touch with you. I'll, I'll keep in touch with you on um, on yeah. Facebook, um, Andrew, and, and yourself, Nilesh, over the next couple of hours. Yeah, for a few more questions. Yeah, privately. Yeah, awesome, man. Awesome. Great stuff, Andrew. It's been really good uh, meeting you uh, virtually, and looking forward to the physical meeting in, in Vegas, man. Yeah, I'll see you in Vegas. That's great, guys. Okay. Awesome. awesome. Cheers, guys. Okay, so All the best, guys. Bye. Yeah, Bye. Man. Cheers, man.